Hello. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel. That's John. Yes, I'm in purposely doing this. Mm -hmm. I'm messing with my co-host. <laughs> uh, we were having slight tech issues before. <laughs> Inside joke just to let you in. <laughs> um, welcome to From Milwaukee to Nashville. We cover everything Admirals and Predators related. Our show is brought to you by Hockey Locker, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. You can also check out Milwaukee Admirals games at, at milwaukeeadmirals.com. You can buy tickets there as well as check out all of their merchandise on their website as well. Um, I, uh, our home opener is um, two weeks away. Mm -hmm. Feels so far away. It'll fly by. <laughs> Um, but the Admirals took on the Wolves. I'm going to let John take over here for the statistical call for the shots on goal and power play. Shots on goal. Milwaukee outshot Chicago in the first period, 15 to nine. Chicago outshot Milwaukee, 11 to eight in the second. In the third, Milwaukee outshot Chicago, 15 to six. For a total of Milwaukee outshooting Chicago, 38 to 26. On the power play, Chicago is one for four with 11 minutes, four infractions. And um, Milwaukee was one for three, 13 minutes, five infractions. Yep. All right. So me and John are going to split up the scoring here a little bit because <laughs> there's a lot of it. <laughs> yep. All right. Scoring in the first at the 821 mark was Adam Willsby with a an assist from Joachim Kondalik. His second of the preseason already with also an assist from Luke Evangelista, who did not play yesterday. Then scoring was Marcus Nermi, his first with an assist from Mark Del Geizo and Luke Evangelista. That was on the power play. So already Evangelista has two. Well, Cole Snyder scores. Our captain with an assist from Joachim Kondalik, his second of the game, and Luca Evangelista, his second, of, his third assist in the game. He has three assists in the first period. Yep. Take it away, John. Second period, Chicago score. Uh, Chicago's Blake Murray scores with an assist from Nate Susses and Alexander Poshin. Um, then Chicago scores again from Alexander Poshin, assisted by Nate Success and Josh Melnick. Um, then the Admirals, Marcus Nermi gets his second goal of the game, um, with assists from Del Geizo and Narvin Mutter. And then Cole Schneider gets his second goal of the game with an assist from Joachim Kondalik and Luke Evangelista. All right, then in the third, sorry guys, I had to throw a hat on here just so I could throw it away again. Uh, 44 seconds into the third, Marcus Nervy scores a hat trick. Oh, great, I threw it behind them. <laughs> Shelving. <laughs> mm. um, his third of the game was an assist from Del Gaizo. His third of the, third of the, wait, isn't that his third of the game? One, yeah. two, third of the game was an assist from Igor Afanasio. Um, and then at the 1731 mark, uh, Luke Evangelista decided he wanted to score with an assist from Tommy Novak, his third. Um, three stars of the game were Cole Snyder with two goals. Uh, Luke Evangelista with four, uh, was the second assist, second star of the game with four assists and one goal. And Marcus Derby with a hat trick. Welcome to the AHL, kid. You, you come in in preseason and get a hat trick. You're going to make the roster. <laughs> mm. Um, we cannot say the attendance because our attendance does our building doesn't hold that many people. Mm -hmm. According to the AHL, our attendance was seventeen thousand four hundred and twenty-two. Woo! <laughs> 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 um, that's how much the Pfizer Forum holds, not our building. So, um, 
Previously, just so that you got, because you guys did not get a show from us yesterday because we did not know about the set, I'm going to run those down real quick. Um, Yesterday, Luke, uh, scoring in the first, Luke, Luke Prokop scored on the power play with an assist from Igor Afanasiev. Uh, Narvin Butter scored in the second with an assist from Joachim Kondalik. Um, Alexander Passion scored in the second for the Wolves with an assist from Tuka Toscola and Antti Hong. Uh, Antony, oh, oh, Antony Honka. Antony Honka. Trust me, I'll get it. Eventually. Uh, that right. was on the power play. And then Luke Prokop scored with an assist from John Leonard and Spencer Stastny, who did not play today as well. Um, Three starts in that game. A third star was Nardin Mutter with a goal. Alexander Pasha was the second star of the goal, game with a goal. And Luke Prokop was first star with two goals. In net was Yaroslav Askarov with 24 saves on 25 shots. Uh, Zachary Slachenko uh, had 30 saves on 33 shots. Um, backups in those games were Cal Morris and Tomas Lomachka. So the Admirals sweep the Wolves in our preseason. Preseason coverage. Done. Yeah. <laughs> and the Wolves went. <laughs> they got KO'd by the Admirals in preseason. Um, for those of you that if you think they're going to be this bad all season, no. I doubt it. Um, they have a lot returning from that Cup team, and they have some of our former players over there as well, having uh Joseph Labate. As well as, I think there was a couple others they had. But uh, just wanted to bring that to you guys' attention. Uh, we will be back on... Gotta check our schedule. Uh, we will be back on Thursday with game coverage of the Preds versus the Stars. Uh, for Admirals fans, our game, our coverage will be returning on Saturday with the Admirals versus the Wolves, with the Wolves dropping their Calder Cup banner and the Preds at the Stars. Um, if you see us before that, it'll be on the 11th. Um, just because we're going to be in the same room, there's a chance you may see us then, but not entirely sure. Uh, we will see how that goes amongst time. Uh, so beyond that, um, John, what do you think of what the Admirals did today? Just today alone. They played a good game. I mean, with half your team sitting on, up in the stands from yesterday. Right. And today you had Cooley and Askarov. Now, the question there is, if Ingram doesn't clear, who's the starter? Who do I think will be the starter if Ingram doesn't clear? Yeah. Probably Askarov. I would say that, too. Not something... I mean, it, it, okay. So, for Admiral's fans, I want you to understand why we would say that. It's something very simple. He's a young Tendi. You want to push him as far as you can to see what he's made of. Nashville has high hopes for this kid. So, we got to push him, but not break him. All right. If we push and he kind of goes back a little, that's when you let Cooley go back into that starting spot and you or you 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 just work with it till he gets on a hot streak. It's basically called riding the hot hand. We used to, we did that in the 2019-2020 season with I believe that was Grosnick and Ingram. Whoever was hot started, whoever was not didn't. All right. And trust me, there were there was a point where both goalies were hot and you just, you know, you didn't know who to start. So, um, I mean, that's, that's really what we're looking for. If Ingram's here, he's the starter. We know this. Um, Askarov will probably be the backup at that point. Um, so, I mean, depth is always a good thing, but too much depth can also be a bad thing for individual players. Right. It can alter their career. Uh, with us having no ECHL affiliate, that also plays into this of where they go. 
So we're announcing now that starting probably around the 15th or the 22nd, starting the 22nd, um, we're going to be doing around the E, basically following our guys around. So uh, we're going to definitely be paying attention to that as well. Um, also making note that uh, the with us not having an ECHL team, um, I believe that we're going to probably end up signing a lot of guys to AHL contracts this year and just kind of making that move. Also, uh, waiver wire, for those of you that are Admirals fans, you do, we no longer have to worry about John Kovacevic um, as he was playing uh, for the Manitoba Boos, got put on waivers today, and was claimed by the Montreal Canadiens. So, just a quick note there as well around our division of some of the things changing. Um, also looking around, um, Simon Knack signs a three-year extension with the uh, with the um. Uh, with his team over there in the uh, Swiss League, as well as Riley Stillman of the Blackhawks was traded to the Vancouver Canucks for Jason Dickinson, who was formerly of the Texas Stars. So, the more you know. Just mm -hmm. a little heads up there of stuff rumbling around the league because it's waiver season. It's trade season. Guys don't have the roster space. If they throw them through waivers, they lose them for nothing. It's just complicated. But speaking of complicated, we'll make a lot work. So we've got, speaking of work, we've got some more tomorrow. So we will see y'all, well, possibly Tuesday. Um, If you do see us Tuesday, pop over to our YouTube page. We're going to be doing some fun stuff over there um after the admirals uh what's that uh time to drop the puck get together party kind of thing i don't remember what they titled that thing yeah i don't either i i think it was hang on i, I will be kind and, and look it up but our season ticket holder thing is is coming up and you know um, we 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 definitely enjoy being fans and this is a moment where we we get to sit back and and you know, be fans, um, you know, um, that's, that's one of our enjoyments, um, as me and John need to go now decompress from a very long day of watching a lot, lo lo listening to one game, watching another, right, um, for John, that's the case, for me, it was, because mm -hmm. I was at the game, so thank oh. you guys, Watching, see you guys Tuesday. If not Tuesday, see you Thursday. If not Thursday, see you Saturday. Uh, please come back and watch. We enjoy your guys' company. Um, the twenty second, we will be live on YouTube, so check that out as well. Um, we got a lot of games coming up, a lot of busy stuff. Um, we got some Halloween graphics possibly coming up. We've got um. Columbus Day coming up. Might do something for that. Um, so lots going on. And it's hockey season, folks. See y'all soon.